Carles. We'll vlog yours. Bienvenido a Medellin. Welcome to Medellin. Very excited to be here. I've waited a long time to come to Medellin. It is the most, probably most known for the home of Pablo Escobar. But here, he is basically Lord Voldemort. You do not say his name. Medellin has a long and violent history. If any of you know the story or watch Narcos, <laughs> You probably know a little bit about it, but we are going to do quite a few things while we're here. We're going to check out a football game. We're, I'm going to go on a bike ride tonight to the Bohemian District. We're staying in the El Poblado District. Abigail is going to, what are you doing tonight? Well, I go on a bike ride since you don't ride bikes. Art e vino, art yes. and wine. Yes, yeah, so there's, she's gonna have, there's gonna be a Colombian artist that comes in to our hostel to explain some of the work that he does and he apparently he's selling some of it. Uh, at the hostel, so he's going to explain that. She's going to drink some wine. I'll be riding a bike. Mm -hmm. We're also going to go to Guatepe, which is outside of Medellin. That'll probably be a separate vlog. We're going to maybe do a graffiti tour, maybe go up to Parque RV. Medellin's huge. I'm very, very excited to be here. Muy encantado. I'm like a little kid. I'm so excited for Medellin. So let's go explore Medellin. It's important to understand the geography of Medellin to help you understand why this city had such a violent past. You can see all these homes on the hillside. That's because Medellin itself sits in the Aruba Valley, which is a valley that's surrounded by the Andes Mountains. And if you know anything about the Andes Mountains, they're very large. The city itself is about 5,000 feet above sea level, but the mountain ranges around it are a couple thousand feet higher. In a nutshell, the layout of the city caused a lot of problems for the poor people who lived up in the hills to get down to the city to find work. We stopped and got a little snack. This is the Reipa con queso. Uh, Reipa is basically cornmeal, similar to what I had in uh, Cartagena, but it looks like a pancake. It's kind of sweet and it has a cheese on top of it. It's very cheap. It's only uh, 2,000 pesos, which is under a dollar USD. So I'm going to dig into this. What do you think of the Reipa con queso? It's delicious. It's really good. Might not be the healthiest. I think it was deep fried. Definitely not the healthiest. And then it was covered in cheese. <laughs> but it's very delicious. So, on Tuesdays and Thursdays in Medellin, they actually shut down one piece of the highway and let people bike on it. And that's what we're doing tonight. Well, me, not Abby. As I said earlier, Abby's back drinking wine. I'm following a crazy tour guide through the highways of Medellin on a bicycle with a helmet that doesn't work that well. As most of you probably know, Medellin at one point was the most dangerous city in the world. And the area you're seeing now was the most dangerous place in the city up until only about five years ago. This is Comuna 13. And what I'm showing you right now is a park within Comuna 13. And the story I'm gonna tell you is very graphic. The mural of these two boys was put here because those two boys were executed in that park. And the execution of those two boys in that park could be seen by everybody within the Comuna because all of the homes look down on that park. It's one of the saddest and most horrific stories that I'd ever heard. But this execution was essentially the straw that broke the camel's back and the community knew that they had to make a change and the government knew that they had to make a change. But in order for the government to get the people of these communas to stop taking money from narco traffickers or guerrilla units, they had to get them connected to the city. So what the government did was they built a metro system. And it's actually the only metro system in any city in Colombia. They still had to get the people down from the hills to get onto the metro. So that's when they built the gondola that you saw earlier to connect the people of the hills. And here in Comuna 13, they built escalators to help get the people down to get onto the metro. In addition, the government commissioned local artists to create graffiti murals. And each of these paintings, which are still being made, have a story. And most of them are to remind people of the past but to keep an eye on creating a better future for the next generations. It is surreal being in Comuna 13. 
mainly because of the horrific things that have happened here, but also because you can see the change that's happened and continues to happen. If you ever go to Medellin, you have to take the graffiti tour. It really gives you an insight to the history of not just the city, but the country itself. All right, what about viewers? So we're getting ready to go into the soccer game. It's the Medellin team. They're called the Nationals. It's not actually the Colombian national team. They're playing the American Cali team. Cali is a city in Colombia. We are pro Medellin, but it's apparently a huge game. I mean, there's a helicopter flying over. We are with a group of people from the hostel, like a pretty big group. They said, do not engage in any fights. I guess they haven't played in a few years. It's supposed to be intense. It's pretty crazy out here right now. So that's what we're doing. We're going to the uh, football game in Colombia. Should be intense. Hopefully we make it out alive. Cheers. Yeah, right. Don't let people in. So we went to part of the game. We bounced out because it was just pouring. I'm in flip flops and I was standing in about three inches of water. It was wet, it was very, very wet. So we're waiting for the metro now. It's just like torrential downpour. It's been relentless. There was lightning in the background, perfect. That's Medellin. Tomorrow we're off to Guatape and then back in Medellin for the night. So we're gonna wrap up Medellin now. That's Medellin. You saw football, you saw the graffiti tour, you saw a crazy bike ride and a little bit of everything else. I'm Willow Jackson. This is Abigail. This is the Will Vlog. You're welcome. We'll see you next time.